In this video, I'm going to show you the best Instagram hashtags for your page. I found this very powerful and interesting tool called metahashtags.com where you can just type in one hashtag that you're interested in. Let's just give an example. I have a dogs page. And if you just type one hashtag dogs, then it gives you all the related hashtags and their analytics, which is like the most important part. As you can see, here's the hashtag dogs and it gives me all the related hashtags to that. So like dogs of Instagram, dogs of gram, dogs of life. It also showed me how many posts does that hashtag has, the number of posts that are posted per hour on that hashtag, the average of likes and the lowest likes on the top post. Uh, let me show you what the top post. What they're referring to is to this top nine posts that they show at the very top of the hashtag. As you can see, top post, this nine. And then out of this nine, which one has the lowest likes? So that's what that refers to. Also like an average of comments on that top post. So this is very powerful because it actually allows you to choose the hashtags that are going to help you grow on Instagram. Because there is a thing, if you use one of these hashtags like dogs, it has 113 million posts on it. It has been used since the dawn of time and you won't get any traction from it. You need to use a hashtag that is active but that is not saturated. A good ratio for an active hashtag that's not saturated will be from 50,000 posts to like 5 million posts. It shows that people are using it, but it's still not being used that much. For example, if I had a dog's theme page, I will try to use a hashtag from around 50,000 to 5 million. So I will go, well, let's see, you know, here, dog's lover. It's actually very easy to just choose them all, but there is an easier way for you to get it. You can just go up and hear the, this funnel type here, and then you can just choose the maximum amount of posts that you will like the results to have. So I just go by my rule, 50K to 5 million, then generate hashtags, and then it's going to filter them all by this rule that I've just set. This makes it way easier for you to find them. So I can just choose all of these hashtags that I know are active and people are actually using it on a daily basis and still have like some life to it. So you can just copy out of these and paste them all and include them in your post, or you can even export them in a CSV file so you can keep them for later. This is very helpful if you're trying to grow an Instagram page. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day and stay safe out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can get that YouTube plaque and I can brag to my mother. Goodbye.